Have you ever woken up in the morning to that awful alarm clock and say, Ugh, I don't want to go to school? Do you do it every day? Well, what you need to do is pick your lazy butt up because there shouldn't be anything holding you back, unless it's sleep. School has provided you with so much. Learning how to read, learning 1 plus 1 equals 2, and even learning where the letters are on a keyboard. Well, that's optional. But if you still aren't convinced, listen to the words of people who already finished high school. Miss Murphy attended Flowers Vocational High School up in Chicago, so she could get a better learning experience. The group of friends that I met there were, uh, had the same kind of mindset. They wanted to do more uh, than just maybe graduate from high school. They wanted to do more than their parents had been able to do. And so we all had this mindset that we wanted more out of life um, than we had seen so far. And we knew that one way to do that was to uh, get an education. You could learn a skill or a trade, and that was my main thing, is to learn something to, so that I could take care of myself later on. One of the things that happened in my neighborhood is that there were uh, too many people who did not have a trade, who did not have any skills. And I, and I thought that if you have a skill, if you have something that you can do that's marketable, that you can get a job, you know. And most of the people in my neighborhood did not, um, didn't have a skill. And, you know, they had, most of the time they had jobs, but they didn't have a skill. And it was like, um, it was dead end to me. And I think they felt that it was like a dead end situation for them. See, I think you have to always learn. Even as you get older and maybe, you know, like when you retire and, you know, people think about, okay, if you retire, then you're just going to sit down. No, what it means to me is that when I retire, I'm not going to just sit down. I'm still going to be doing things and learning things. And education is about learning. So you have to be a lifelong learner, always trying to learn something. Mr. Miller was a high school dropout, but um, it didn't stop him from caring about learning. There's something happened like in ninth grade when the, when the teacher knocked them books on the floor, it just made me just hate school. I done had a teacher took a book from my daughter when she went to Franklin, but she's in an English class and she was doing math homework, she had done her English work, mm -hmm. and took her book and dropped it in the garbage can. That happened to her when she went to school, and that's, that's been probably five years ago, six years ago, and I had to talk to her and make her understand, don't, make, don't, don't let that do it like it did me, make you hate school. And see, people don't know how that if you do something, how it would affect you when they do that to you. So you got to watch, a teacher really got to watch what they do when they do it. Because they don't know how it affects the student, how it affects the person. Now, this is my story. I was born in a little village on the coast of West Africa in Monrovia, Liberia. In the year of 2000, I moved to the States with my family. My mother had won what you called a diversity visa lottery, DV. She and my dad wanted to take me away from the suffering of war they'd gone through, and so they started a new life. What that means to me is that they wanted better. Better meaning how I lived and how I learned. So I vowed to myself never to disappoint them. I would get straight A's in school, not because my parents said so, but because I wanted to be on the top. So I always strive for the best. To be the best me of me. And that's my message to you. Be the best you that you can be. Because think about it, there's only one you to go around. This is Sony Toe for the Youth Media Workshop.